Haley Washington, congratulations on being a 2015 Volleyball Magazine All-American. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, uh, you are a sophomore, mm -hmm. and so often athletes have a drop-off on their sophomore year. They call it a sophomore slump. You somehow avoided that. Well, why do you think your sophomore year was, I, I'm sure you would agree, even an improvement on your great uh, freshman year? Um. I think it's just because you understand a more mental side of the game, so you take it as another step. It's not just physical play anymore, there's a mental step to it, but there are things people don't see. Like I still struggled with certain things this year that I have to overcome next year to be better and to improve and to be an even better player. So by no means did I avoid the sophomore slump. It just looks like I didn't. What did you struggle with? Um, there were a couple things physically that I struggled with that I just need to be able to overcome. Blocking was something that I wish to improve on a little bit more this season, and I failed to do that, but that's okay. And then speed and still having power to hit behind the ball at the end of the season, because it's a long season. So being able to hit just as hard at the beginning of the season towards the end of the season is something I struggled with as well. You come into Penn State last year as a freshman with this team with all this tradition and all these expectations had to be quite an eye-opening experience, but now you're in a position to have helped freshmen coming in or even as you look ahead next year's freshmen. What do what did you have to learn and what do other people have to learn coming into a program with that much history and tradition? Um, there's a lot of things you need to learn. One, how to deal with coach because he has a very, very different coaching style than usually what you're used to. So you have to Russ Rose. Yeah, the big man. <laughs> you have to figure out how to deal with him. But then also you need to understand that this isn't a program that goofs around like it's very serious and it's a lot of hard work and it's not something that you can come into and slack off one day and I think that that's something that everybody on this team learned it's like you can't come into practice and take it casually you have to go in every day and you have to be willing to go hard and you have to work and you have to grind and it's something that this team really had to learn this year and I think it's something that I want to instill while I'm here my entire another two years I was gonna say three years two years <sighs> have you always been a middle blocker Yes, I actually played libero once in seventh grade, but it wasn't actually libero. I just played back row like one time because I couldn't jump. So, <laughs> always the middle. The role of, of middle blocker has, has changed over the years, and it requires a different kind of athlete. You used to look at maybe the, the biggest, broadest, strongest girl on the team, but it's really now a lot about athleticism and quickness. Yeah, there's a lot of athletes that are now middles that are really fast. We have an athlete, a uh, freshman, Tori Gurel, super quick middle, great arm, fast off the ground, really good swing, and that's just a different type of middle that you see. Um, but there's still girls that are tall and like strong like me. I'm a bigger middle, like I'm not as quick, I'm not as fast, but I still hit the ball hard and I still get my feet to the ball and I still got to be aggressive. So there's diff definitely a different type, but speed is good, but I think strength is still just, a good, just as good of a thing. Penn State had a, a really great year by almost every program's um, uh, standards, but of the 64 lucky enough to make the, the uh, tournament, 63 don't win the championship, and Penn State's one of those. What does that mean for you for next year and the, and the year after? Are you happy with the title last year and that's enough? No. <laughs> um, I don't think that you can ever settle for one title. I don't think you can ever settle if you're not that team that wins at the end of the year. If you didn't make it to the Final Four, if you didn't make it to the championship match, if you didn't make it to that trophy at the end of the year, you shouldn't be satisfied. That's not good enough. And I think that that's a mentality that my team especially has, and it's not good enough. Where we went to wasn't good enough. Our performance this season wasn't good enough, but that's okay. Because you can't keep apologizing for what happened. You can't keep looking back on the past. You have to look forward to what you can do today to be better, to be improving, to be stronger, to be faster, to be whatever you need to be for next year. So not satisfied with one title, but willing to work hard for as many more as that I can get. Well, on that inspirational note, <laughs> let us congratulate you again on being a 2015 Volleyball Magazine All-American. Congratulations Thank to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It means a lot.